Bell's 525 helicopter is still in development, but the manufacturer has been offering demonstrations of its traveling simulator to allow users to experience its fly-by-wire control system. This is the first fly-by-wire control system for a civil helicopter, and the focus is on reducing pilot workload and improving safety. AIN journalist Terry Dubois recently had the chance to experience the simulator. It will be the first civil helicopter with fly-by-wire controls. This means there is a computer in the loop between the pilot and the control surfaces. And although I'm not a helicopter pilot, I know how tricky it can be to fly manually a helicopter. And trying to fly this one, I really found the system was making it easier for me to fly it. So I found that my control inputs were easily translated into the desired fly path. fly by controls are going to reduce pilot workload which should translate into improved safety. They are going to make it easier for the pilot. The pilot will have to care much less about the controls themselves, and he will be able to concentrate on other tasks. So in other words, his mind will be free for other cognitive tasks, such as decision-making, such as uh, situational awareness, and this is really where safety can be improved. Helicopter pilots generally have a high workload in the cockpit. And this is never more the case than when they are operating in stressful environments, such as the North Sea. Reducing this workload through the use of technology such as fly-by-wire allows pilots to concentrate on truly safety-critical tasks. So a good example is a double-engine failure, and the, the fly-by-wire control system will help the, help the pilot a lot in such an event, which is very unlikely, but still might happen. So the idea is, uh, if you have a double-engine failure, you have to react very, very quickly, within a handful of seconds. You have to perform a couple of actions to keep the rotor turning. If, if you don't perform these actions within seconds, you are in real trouble and this can lead to an accident. So fly-by controls are going to make it easier for the pilot. They will give a head start to the pilot, if you wish, performing the first of the required action, the first of the required control inputs, automatically, even before the pilot knows. So this will give him a head start and uh, allow him to perform the other actions in a more relaxed way.